Sheesh, what are you spacing out for? I'll wake you up. What the fuck just happened? Excuse me, what? Hello internet, welcome to Amnesia Memories. I am doing a let's play on this game as a thank you to everyone who has used Gawkbox uh, last month. And uh, thanks to everyone who has been able to use it, I'm able to do all the routes in this game, so I gotta play the entirety of this game. I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen in this game at all, because I don't know anything about it. All I remember is, I remember Christy telling me, if you date Toma, I'm gonna punch you, so <laughs> we'll see who I end up liking in this. If you're watching this on YouTube and you would like to join me on Twitch, I live stream three times a week. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at twitch.tv slash justanoob. You can join the audience like everyone here. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's start a new game. So th this is a Japanese game, so I expect it to be very Japanese. If you guys catch my drift. Because every, every Japanese game that I played is very over the top. <laughs> so, oh, what? Um, what? Um, what? Okay, bye, I guess. Alright, it's game over. Alright, goodbye everybody. <laughs> Are you alive? Hello? Are you alive? No. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like read out everything because everything is in Japanese, so. Uh, this is bad. If they find out I kill a human, I'll get executed. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, you're awake. Who is this? <laughs> How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? What? What? Okay, thank goodness you're alive. I was really surprised. I thought maybe I'd killed you. Uh, oh, no. Uh, I'm not in the least bit shady at all, really. You know, I, I see, I'm reading the chat. Everyone's like, oh, it's it's already so sweet. I'm like... The first impression, I, I might have killed you. Yeah, that doesn't change anything at all. <laughs> it's not like I hit you with a blunt object or push you off a cliff or ran you over with a car. That's very uh, specific things that you're mentioning there. Okay. <laughs> Um, so to explain who uh, exactly I am... I'm just a spirit who happened to lodge himself into your consciousness. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No reaction to who I am or to the situation you are in now? I mean, I am having a reaction. Hey, are you really okay? You can see me, right? Uh, I see a big bug thing. I see something not human. I see a strange looking kid. I mean, that's very rude to say he looks like a bug thing. Please do not say that. I'm gonna just say you look weird. Whoa, first of all, thanks for that answer. What? Is that like I said it was a bug? <laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm not strange looking or anything, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just have a different existence than you. I'm a spirit after all. Anyway, I'm glad that you can at least see me. Still, you're really calm. I thought you, the moment you woke up, you'd be like... That would be my reaction too! Like, freaking out. I don't know why our character is not freaking out. <laughs> or something like that, but wait. Your personality didn't fly off with the memories, did it? Oh, is that why it's called Amnesia Memories? <laughs> Well, from now on, let me explain things from the beginning. I'm Orion. I'm a spirit from the distant world. I 
I was on my way to the human world from some for some business, what business? And then by accident, I sort of collided with your mind. How do you accidentally do that? Excuse me, sir, where's your license so you're accidentally colliding into my consciousness? <laughs> I don't understand it myself, but for some reason, I'm trapped inside your soul now. It looked like you lost consciousness from the impact. And, well, this is kind of hard to say, but... <laughs> it kind of looks like your memory skedaddled too. What a mess. I mean, not a big deal. We, I just like took away all your memories by accident because I collided in your head. It's cool. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, go ahead and yell at me. I know I said a lot of things that probably didn't make any sense to you, but please say something. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't know where to start, dude. Yeah, no, you're right. I completely understand. I'm really sorry for my carelessness. I'll do anything to help get your memories back. Okay, at least he wasn't like, bitch, bye. Like... <laughs> Besides, if I don't, I'm not sure I'll be able to separate from you. I'm not absolutely sure, but... Oh really? I thought you, we were just like, you know, standing outside, but okay. I think I'm trying inside the place where your memories used to be. Think about it like your memories were pushed out by the uh, amount of space I take up. So if your memories were to return, then I would get pushed back out instead. There might be another solution. Besides, uh, but aside from what I just said, nothing comes to mind. I feel awful that I made you lose your memories. Let's work together and try to get them back. Uh, okay. Sure, he seems really adamant on helping us. Alright, thanks for understanding. I kind of expected a... You better start running. I would have understood completely if you were that harsh with me. You're pretty accepting of things, huh? I'm pretty mellow temperate. I hope, please, for the love of God, I hope this isn't because, like, MC's like, I know she lost her memories, but please don't be dumb as I think she's gonna be. <laughs> It might be strange to say, but I'm glad it was your mind it got stuck in. Well, I guess that's how it is. From now on, I'll work with you as hard as I can to get your memories back. I'll do anything you need me to do, is what I want to say, but actually I have some limitations. I figured because you're in my mind, but okay. I can't interfere with the human world. I can't touch you and you can't touch me. What's more, people around us won't be able to see or hear me. So I can't investigate much uh, for you, and you I can't move uh, what, and I can't move in your stead. In fact, I can't move more than 10 meters away from you. I said I'd do anything, but it looks like all I can really do is cheer you on. 
Well, I mean, I guess it's okay. <laughs> well, it's better than having no one, right? No matter what, I'll always be on your side. I mean, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Orion, but you know. You still. You know, never mind. <laughs> I promise it won't be like the culprit was Orion all along. Uh, but. <laughs> but you're still useless, Orion. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be mean. Because he, he, he actually seems sincere, so I'll just say I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm happy that you would say so. Then let's do our best. So, you really can't remember anything? What about your name? Do you think you can at least remember your name? No, I'm assuming no. Oh dear, is this us? Oh, I think I should just put my name like every fucking like told me that I do. Alright, cool. Me. Yup. Jessica, is that your name? Uh, I think so. I, 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 it kind of popped in my head. <laughs> I see. But if that's what you remembered when you thought about your name, then it's probably correct. Good, one step forward. All right then, there's no point staying here, so let's go back to your world. Hmm? What is this place you ask? It's hard to explain. The space between dimensions, that's the closest description. This world has many possibilities, and there's ex uh, there uh, exit as many parallel worlds as there are many possibilities. Oh man, Doctor Who! All right. <laughs> For example, in one world you may be going to school, and in another you may just be working. This is the space between those many parallel dimensions that isn't connected to any of them. To put it bluntly, right now you're suspended in the rift between worlds. But I don't know which world you're f you came from. Oh, I get it now. That's why you guys are mentioning the different worlds. Okay, I understand now. Oh, but any world is uh, still a world that you were in. There's no such thing as a right or wrong uh, with parallel worlds. So let's go back to the world you were in and recover your memory. There are a lot of ways to do it, like talking to your friends or looking at your phone's history. Oh, but just a sec, be careful of who you trust. Humans are brutal and cruel, uh, cruel beings. You should only tell people you really trust about your amnesia. Basically, what Orion is saying, people are bitches, so don't trust everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they might try to give you memories uh, you've never had. Oh, that's me. Like, you owe me $10,000, so you better pay me back, or something like that. My god. There's no way you could tell if that's what they, uh, if they, if what they said was true, right? Oh, 
Uh, some horrible jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your actual one. This is so this sounds all awful! You might be told you don't have a job and then later get fired. Great. Or someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. Or maybe you wind up in a situation where you found yourself being shipped off overseas. Why is Orion getting gradually and gradually worse with like the situations? <laughs> <laughs> right, it'd be terrible if that happened, right? You might be- can't I call the police? Yeah, but the police is not gonna fucking believe us, right? You think so? Let's think the uh, let's think the opposite. You get lucky and you meet a nice person and you tell him or her your situation. In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said that you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories return. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes, for the most part, you'd be you'd shut up in the inside, right? Oh, whoa, what? Oh, okay, whoops, my bad. <laughs> for other people, that might be okay, but for you, it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. They're being pushed out by my existence. So staying home or at the hospital wouldn't help. In fact, wouldn't uh, without simulation, you just get worse. Oh, okay, I know, I know, like you know, Orion's trying to help, but don't you don't have to be so dramatic. <laughs> Sitting around spacing out in the hospital room without any memories would worsen your mind. Whoa, what? They would go that far? You might forget how to drink water or even how to breathe. Advice to avoid such a terrifying ending number one. Gather information. Try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. Who, uh, who you, your family, and your relationships were, and what you were doing. Increase your knowledge and fill up the, that outer part of your memories. Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something and the rest of your memory should return. As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. It's a long shot, given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we have. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative things. You just realize it now? <laughs> but first, if you think it would be good to confide in your family... They won't believe that a spirit got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide some information. We can think about more of the plan after that. Now let's go back to your world. The method is simple, just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whether uh, whatever world you can recall is the world that you desire. Only I think there are several worlds like that. Choose the world that feels right. Okay. 
Okay, so the heart world is the first one, right? Like, I, I want to do it in chronicle chronological order, so it's the heart one, right? Alright, here we go. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> hey, you, wake up! Please, wake up quick! Oh, uh, you're up! Uh, um, what should we do? This is a hospital, isn't it? Isn't this a hospital room? Uh, you're sleeping here in pajamas, so that means you're a patient, right? Uh, I just had finished explaining that we need to avoid hospitals! Why, why are you here? I don't freaking know, Orianne! I don't have memories! <laughs> why are you here? Is there anything here that could give us uh, some information? Oh, there's a name tag on the bed. Okay, so it looks like your name is just as you thought it'd be. Cool. Let's see, what else? Do you have a cell phone or an ID card? Oh, there's a purse under the bed here. Can you get up? Uh, I assume that's a no? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that was a real shock. Are you okay? I felt it too since we're merged together. Uh, where did that come from just now? Oh, you have bandages wrapped around your neck. What happened to us? What? It's not just your neck. They're all over your arms and legs too. It's like your whole body was injured. What the fuck happened? What? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I see. You were probably hospitalized for these injuries then. Maybe you were in a car accident? It doesn't seem like you're too injured to move at least, but moving still hurts a bit. Oh god, I'm coming in! Ah, someone's here! Oh god, who is it? Whoa, who the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, how long are you going to sleep? Okay, dick! Like, my whole body's injured! Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> it's already 10, you slept in enough. Hey, she's a hospital patient! Recovering is normal! This guy is in hospital stuff. I mean, clearly, look at his fucking outfit! Maybe you know him. Sheesh, what are you spacing out for? I'll wake you up. What the fuck just happened? Excuse me, what? Who is this guy? Uh, whoa, my god. Alright, sorry, I should stop screaming so much. Jesus, my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off our connection from for now on. <laughs> our it's like I need to get the fuck out of here. Uh are you okay? I'm sorry, I can't do anything about this. If you don't like it, you need to resist. <laughs> <laughs> Just how long is he gonna kiss you for? Like, okay, I know we have amnesia and like this dude <laughs> this dude could be dating her, but you shouldn't really just like fucking kiss anybody without asking them. Like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck Oh my god, what's with you? You're not gonna get all embarrassed. Uh, you're not gonna get all embarrassed today? If you don't resist, I won't know. <laughs> if you don't resist, I won't know when to stop. My god, calm your horses. Fucking god. 
Uh, since you're keeping quiet, I'll take that as a con- No! That is not consent, you fu- Don't make me hate you, okay? This is the beginning. You don't say- Oh my god. Since you're keeping quiet, I'll take this as a consent. Is that okay? No, it's not, bitch. Wait, seriously, give us a break here. This girl doesn't even remember you. I know you can't hear my voice, but listen to me. Uh, Jessica, is this really okay? No, it's not. Okay? It's not. <laughs> God. You really are half asleep. I'll go take care of the discharge paper. So get dressed. I won't knock on my way back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I know he's probably, like, the boyfriend of this, this, our, our character, but dude. Like, it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship, you should still ask, not be a dick. <laughs> See ya, okay, bye, leave, thank you. I'm already annoyed with that one. <laughs> He's gone. Yikes, that was a surprise. He could be just like, we could just be banging him, you don't fucking know. <laughs> Anyway, I think that man uh, just now was your boyfriend, maybe? <laughs> I love Orion. If he wasn't coming in here and kissing you like that, is a suitable offense, assault and battery. <laughs> I guess it's normal if he's your boyfriend, but you don't remember anything, so you don't have to put up with it, you know? <laughs> I already like Orion. You're you're a precious child. I like you. You have the right idea. <laughs> Wait, if you don't get dressed right away, he's gonna see you changing. He said he was gonna take care of all the discharge papers. Looks like you're all ready to leave then. Oh my god. <laughs> Phew, I know we woke up in a hospital and all, but it really could have been worse. Yeah, it, re it, re it really could have been worse. Not like this man assaulted us or anything. <laughs> He's close enough to you, uh, to you to take care of the hostile paperwork in your place, so there's a good chance that you can rely on him. Eh. <laughs> if he's someone you can really trust, there'd be no need to hide your amnesia from him. Things are looking up. Orient, I know you're trying to be optimistic here, but... I still don't trust him. I'm sorry, I really don't. <laughs> but why is your boyfriend taking care of all that paperwork? You both seem like high school or college students. Wouldn't your parents normally take care of something like that? <laughs> it really doesn't matter now. What matters is you leave the hospital. Anyway, you need to get dressed. You're in pain, so take it slow. That bitch walks in on us. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Okay, we'll see. Were you able to put on your clothes all right? Hmm, looks good. Actually, pretty cute. I guess now we just need to wait until that guy comes back. No, why does it look like I'm naked? Like, <laughs> I'm back, don't changing. That was close. If you, had, if you had been just a little slow, we totally would have seen you. He did say he'd come in without knocking, but is it normal for people to actually do that? No, it's not! <laughs> you, can, you can be fucking married! I don't care you knock my damn door and come in! Don't just barge in like that! <laughs> I know the two of you are close, but still, maybe you should tell him. You know what? You can at least knock, okay? I told you before that I come in without knocking. You should have said something then. Okay, Mr. Collar Edgelord over here! 
You're you're really acting weird. Is it really okay for us to leave? Yes, it's okay. It's very okay, right, Jessica? <laughs> Did you take your medicine this morning? It doesn't look like you threw uh you threw anything away. あのさ、お前痛くないの。どうやったら毎日飲んでる痛み止め飲み忘れるんだよ。オーマイガード。アーユーインペイン?ハウクッチュフォーゲットとテイクヨーペインキラーズ。さっさと飲めよ、バカ
お茶入れて。Bitch, I just came from the hospital. Are you serious right now? Go clean up. I, I, I'll clean up. Go make some tea. It's not like I got hit by a fucking car or something. <laughs> Thank you! Even Ori agrees. What? He's telling an injured person to make tea? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god.、Uh, if you're soon, Dre, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Since the hospital allows you to leave today, that means you can take care、uh, of simple everyday stuff by yourself. Yeah, thanks a lot. <clears throat> if you collapse, I'll carry you to your bed. Think of it. No, it's, it's fine. If I fucking collapse, he'll just carry me to the bed. Think of this as your rehabilitation period. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, we literally just left the hospital. If he told me, like, to do stuff the next day or something, I'd understand. But we just left! <laughs> What? This guy's too strict on you! Ugh, I guess you can't help it. You'll have to look for the tea. Wait, exactly what kind of tea does he mean, anyway? Oh, I don't give a shit! I'll make my own tea! Green tea, barley tea, black tea? Maybe you should just ask him. Bitch, I'm drinking black tea, screw you. <laughs> I don't、uh, really mind, but、uh, why would you make that? Yeah, I did. She felt like it, right, Jessica? Well, whatever. You're not making the tea, so you have no say in this, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Huh. How long is he gonna hang around here? It looks like he's putting your stuff away. He had a key to this place, so maybe he was taking care of you the whole time you were hospitalized? What is the meaning of this? What exactly are your parents doing? Oh well, I guess you,、uh, I guess you should just make some tea from now on. Yeah, make some tea, fucking why not? Ten minutes later, ten minutes until I kick this guy's ass, I swear. <laughs> That's a <laughs> that about does it. I didn't touch your clothes though, so you can take care of that yourself. It's not like you're fucking injured. <laughs>、oh、Is the tea ready? Bring it to the table. I brought some sandwiches. You haven't had anything to eat since the morning, right? You should eat something. Hmm, he's got a harsh way with words, but he takes good care of you, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, you should eat. There's a, lot,、uh, there's a lot you need to ask, but he already seems suspicious, so no matter what you learn, it might work against us. Finally, get the hell out! <laughs> oh, it's already late, I'll go home. <laughs> I think Orion's so happy that he's leaving too. He's finally leaving! We're free from all this anxiety! You're probably about、uh, at your limit. Nobody, nobody here will take care of you, so you should just lie down. Yeah, it's not like you made me make fucking tea earlier, dude. <laughs> oh, and I'll be back tomorrow. No, please don't come back. Give me the key and don't come back to this fucking place. You know what? No, 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 no. No need to go in any trouble. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> You're acting strange. There's no problem if I take one day off from prep. Huh, so he also attends prep school. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Oh, he left the key on the kitchen counter. I'll just be a guest tomorrow. Don't sleep, Ben. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> We're finally alone. Well, 
It seems like he had a lot of doubts about you, but you avoided uh, being brought back to the hospital. <sighs> but you seem really tired. You were hospitalized since this morning, after all. Of course you'd be tired. That guy was pushing you way too hard, wasn't he? Exactly. Thank you, Orion. <laughs> We need to search around this room, but it feels like your body is at its limit. You should lie down and check your cell phone. <laughs> My Sharky's just like, Sam is better. I know she hates uh, Sam so much from Seduce Me, so <laughs> that's saying a lot. Oh my god. Oh, let's see what's in your purse. Wait, you have no cell phone? Why? All, all you young people these days have cell phones, don't you? Oh, maybe you put it away somewhere since you didn't need it at the hospital. Uh, we should look around for it, but you don't have the strength. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god, Sharky. Anyway, from now on, you should just check inside your purse. You might have an ID card or something in there. Let's see. Oh, there. Miyoga University, first year psychology. Hmm, so you're a college student. So he he said that he had a he had prep school tomorrow, right? Does that mean he decided to study for exams for a year, or is he like younger than you? You look like you're around the same age. Even though we talked to him all day, we still don't know his name. Mean asshole? <laughs> but he had your house key and he took care of your hospital discharge papers. There's no doubt that you trusted him before you lost your memories. And this isn't something you normally ask a casual boyfriend to do, so he must be more like family to you. But he kissed us, that's kind of weird. You should watch him for a while and maybe tell him about your amnesia when you're sure you can trust him. Oh, bitch, I'm not telling him right now. I don't trust him, okay? <laughs> oh, if you really get along that well, you might have a photo album or something in your house. Mm, but you're at your limits here. You should wait until tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, good work today. We don't know what tomorrow may bring, but do uh, but do your best. I believe in you. Thanks, Orion. You're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> the next day. Dun, dun, dun. I swear if this guy comes, just gotta kick him out. If there's an option to kick him out, he's getting out. Uh, good morning, Jessica. Huh? Is someone here? Like, you know I'm injured. Why are you like waking me up this early in the morning? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, it's that guy from yesterday, but he's very he's here way too early. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Ask him to wait a little while and get dressed quick. This guy didn't like knock at the hospital door, so I don't, you know. Oh my god. I'm just- I'm just 110% done with this guy! <laughs> You're late! Did you just wake up? Don't psych off just because you're at home now. It's better for you to live the same way you did at the ho- Can you not be like an asshole about this? Like... Oh my god, this is like the- So far, this is the worst Sundere I have ever witnessed in my entire life. This is kind of from someone who loves Sundere. It's like, what the f- Ugh. I told you yesterday not to sleep in. 
もしかしてそのために朝早くから叩き起こしに来たの Um, could it have been the reason why he showed up so early to wake you up? どんな厳しい生活指導だよ What kind of crazy disciplinary is this guy? No, how about you don't come in? How about you leave, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Here, I brought you some breakfast. Also, there's something I want to ask you. Huh? Ask? Oh my god. Oh, oh, we've been in a relationship with this guy for a year? How, how, did, how did our character put up with this guy? What? What? It's our one year anniversary today, right? Are you sure you don't want to do anything? Wait, really? That's it. I've come up with a new recipe. God damn girl, do better. <laughs> why are they uh why do they have to be some big anniversary now all of all times? You don't need you you don't need Hey, you wanna buy me cake for you for you being a dick? Like <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't know I was gonna get this triggered in this game. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm gonna ask this bitch to buy me cake, because, like, seriously, you buy me something now. <laughs> You'll get fat, so no, your face is already pretty round. If you gain weight, I'll sh. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, bitch. No, you did not just say that to me. What? There's nothing wrong if you have a round face or if you're big, okay? Fuck this guy! I hate him already! Fuck you! I don't like you. What? That's not something you should say to a girl! That's not something you should say to anybody! Jesus Christ! One more question. You haven't called me by name since yesterday. Why is that? What? You pretty much always call me by name. Yeah, also, I'm always a jerk to you, but it usually rolls off right your back. Oh my god, this girl! This girl this girl is the She's kind of in an abusive relationship. I know like Sundaris like generally don't mean any harm, but this dude treats her kind of like Really badly, from what I'm seeing so far. So she's the type of girl who's very quiet and like accepts it. Clearly. Oh my god. Yesterday though, it seems like he wanted me gone. Oh crap, did he figure it out? So I want to ask you, do you remember my name? Uh, he asked the worst part of the question. Just slipped by- <laughs> It just slipped my mind! <laughs> You know, like how he slipped and got injured at the hospital. I don't like the way he's treating our character, so I'm gonna be an asshole to him. I don't care. Just slipped my mind. That's a possible idiot. Hmm, I see, so you don't remember. No, 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 it really just slipped her mind. Don't take her back to the hospital. Uh, oh, by the way, we only started going. Uh... Okay, at least, it, at least it wasn't that long. Okay, by the way, we only started going out three months ago, and you don't even remember that. Huh? What? <laughs> Why that literally tricked us? I don't know why you're hiding it, but there's no use playing dumb anymore. So this bitch calls us out and then he calls us fat too? Like, oh hell no. I tricked you because it would be obvious to you you were hiding something, but you wouldn't admit it. What did you say? Your memories are missing, aren't they? Take up. You've got to be stupid to think you could hide something like that. Looks like you're still an idiot, even 
Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, please help me. I'm gonna like fucking lose my mind because of this fucking guy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Looks like you're still an idiot, even without your memories. How are we dating this guy? Dump his ass! Dump this guy! Oh, sorry. <laughs> you couldn't figure out that from the start that we were dating? <clears throat> and that you thought that you could hide the fact you've changed? Idiot! <laughs> oh, you don't have to rub the salt in the room name calling and all. Yeah! Dick! <laughs> As I name call him! <laughs> You've been acting strange since yesterday morning. I figured it's just temporary and you get be uh, get better or something. So, why did you try to hide it? I don't know. You know what? I don't know if I can trust you, okay? Okay. <clears throat> You really think that you'd give a key uh, and your money to a man you didn't trust? Why don't you use your head next time? Does it matter if I gave you a fucking key? Does not mean I trust you completely, you- <laughs> Oh god. Huh, so you gave him money too. That's right, he paid for the hospital when you were discharged. Oh, sorry, I keep clicking that, sorry. So you didn't go to the doctor for this because you're sick of hospitals? <laughs> Sharky, thank you for all the salt bit emojis. Oh my god, I'm so angry. Yeah, that's right. If you don't want to go, I won't take you to the hospital. I won't try to get you too close to you either. Is that alright with you? Yeah, it'd be better if you just get the hell out. Yeah, this guy gets it. This is great, Jessica. So how much do you remember? Do you know your live? Uh, do you know your name? Your your age? Your living situation? That's not a problem. You saw your ID card. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you had an ID card, so you're saying you're so confused you can't even remember your name without your ID. What do you think? Then I'll just explain everything from the beginning. Dude, we need to get better friends. Are you kidding me? My name is Shin. We've been, uh, we've known each other since we were kids. I guess you could say we're childhood friends. We started going out three months ago. I'm a year younger than you, a senior in high school. Oh my god. He yeah, Orion, he does not act grown up. He acts like an idiot. <laughs> so he's younger, but he acts so grown up. <clears throat> Your parents are working overseas. They visited you when you were hospitalized, but they've gone back. Really? They didn't stay? Okay. If there was an option to slap this guy right now, I would do it. <laughs> I'm taking care of you in their place. I've got your key and some stuff. Your parents know me very well. Oh, I see. I thought he was gonna go above and beyond uh, an ordinary boyfriend's duty, but I get it now. Your childhood friends, no wonder your parents trust him. He's kind of a mean guy, but he seems pretty interesting. I mean, sure, but he's an asshole, so I don't want to- Oh, I'm just so done, man. I'm sure if you say too much at once, it'll just confuse you. So I'll stop there for now. Is there anything else you want to know? Don't you, don't you need to go to school? <laughs> No, I actually want to know why we're injured. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why? What? Oh my god. Ah! 
It's my fault. The reason you're injured and the reason your memory's all messed up now. He okay, if it's his fault, then why was he acting like an asshole to us? Oh my god, I just can't. Oh god. Why wait a second, the reason she lost her memories is because of me. <laughs> you were in an accident about 10 days ago. You hit your head pretty hard. I think the impact made you lose your memories. Um, that's wrong, but well, I guess his misunderstanding is more convenient for us. About the accident. <laughs> No, sorry. I still haven't really managed to think it over. I don't think I can talk about it yet. What? Why? Okay? Oh my god. Regardless, all the, uh, all the blame is on me. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm gonna blame you. Your injuries, your lost memory. I'm going to take care of you. Maybe I don't want you to take care of me. How about that? I promised your mother and father that I would look after you too. That's why they gave me your key. I'm very sorry. Oh, are we getting a memory? It's all my fault. If I had just been more careful, none of this would have happened. I'm really sorry. Please let me make it suffer you. Uh, I don't care what I have to do. Is he talking to our parents? Shit, we aren't blaming you for this. You know, you know what would make up for everything if he would stop being a dick? <laughs> Hey, wasn't that a memory of the past? I think there that was about Shin apologizing to your parents. Was <laughs> Shin's words triggered a memory and he definitely triggered me, my goodness. <laughs> That's great, so you really didn't forget them completely. What's wrong? Did you apologize to my dad at the hospital? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though it wasn't exactly a great moment, I would have preferred that you remembered something about me where I was cooler. <sighs> Did you have moments when you were cooler, Shin? I don't know. It's okay. It's actually it was actually pretty admirable. That's good. It sounds like you can at least remember some things again at least. <clears throat> Uh, Do you know Shin might have been bracing himself for this since yesterday morning when he noticed you weren't acting when you were acting strange. Must have been a shock to realize that his girlfriend had lost her memories. He acts pretty tough, but uh, that might be because he's he's anxious. Can you walk? I don't know, you made me make tea yesterday, so I assume yes. <laughs> we should take a walk around here. You might, uh, you might remember something. That's right, seeing familiar places might jog your memory, let's go! Oh my god, oh, oh I'm still angry. I'm still angry about this guy. <laughs> This is around where your parents' house was. You don't remember, I see. We just told you we lost our memories, but okay. <laughs> That's my house. It's really close to yours, so if anything happens, just come over right away. Next to your work. It's about 20 minute walk. What? Have you have no mercy? This girl is in the hospital until yesterday. Don't you think it's too much for her? And his house is really close. Yet when we asked about a taxi, he said he didn't know the area. That's true. Why the hell did he say that? Is it because he's suspecting us, like, not having our memories? Is that why? It's probably another trick, like when he said you guys were celebrating your one year anniversary. 
Probably. Still don't trust them though, I don't care. Hey, are you okay, Jessica? It seems like you're in pain. Yup, no shit. I guess that was too much for you. Let's go into this cafe. Uh, this is where you work. Wow, what a pretty place. Huh, so you work here? Can, why can't we date this guy? <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, Ma what, Master Madam? Huh? Master Madam? Uh, wait, Shin, she just got out of the hospital yesterday. Why did you bring her all the way out? Thank you! Why the hell did he bring- I don't fucking know why he brought me out here. Oh, is this Toma? Is this him? <laughs> okay, I see now. I see why everyone's getting annoyed in the chat. So you look kind of pale. Is your head hurting? Oh, it's not, it's not like I just hit my head a few days ago. We're here as customers today. Oh, I see. Fine. How very rude of me. I'll return when you decided on your order. Maybe you know him. He acted awfully close. That was Toma. Do you remember anything? I guess not. That's fine then. That's one objective down. <clears throat> I guess all that's left is to buy a cell phone and take a, uh, take a taxi back. A cell phone? Yeah, I realize that. Thank you. You don't have a cell phone. Didn't you realize that? It broke during your accident. Oh, so that's why it wasn't, uh, there wasn't a phone in your purse. You were fine in the hospital, but it would have been a problem now if you couldn't contact an emergency. Yeah. Didn't really know what kind of phones girls like, so you choose. You came. It doesn't matter, it just has to be working. Like, what the fuck? You came all this way here, so you might as well. Oh my god. I was planning to take you back if you didn't seem to be doing well, but. Now that I, I think about it, you, you don't complain much anymore. Are you pushing yourself too hard? Yeah, can we please fucking go home? Thank you. Okay. Idiot, I never told you to overdo it. Yeah, I never asked to fucking go on a walk either. <laughs> if you need to complain, tell me. I won't know unless you speak up. It's not like I can read your mind. I can't do anything about secret, uh, secret thoughts. And why do I have to tell you things like this now, after all this time? I don't know, dude. Maybe because I lost my memories, that's why you have to explain it all to me. Oh my goodness. We've built all these little details into our relationship over the last 10 years. It's really weird to have to explain things like this for you to understand. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm just gonna... Oh, I need to lie down, I'm so angry! <laughs> so the person standing here really the Jessica I know? Or should I treat you like a stranger? How about you just treat me like a person, okay? Back during the accident, I thought you had died. I was really scared. Well, it's not like you're making it any better, dude. Yesterday, when I noticed your memories were gone, I felt like this relationship had everything we built was crumbling. If he noticed that, how about you be kinder to us so you can fucking fix it? But you know, this guy has no fucking logic. You can still remember it, right? It's not all gone, is it? Uh, well, it doesn't matter what happens, it's still all my fault. Yes, it is. I'm blaming you. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Her 
her back. Can we just go to sleep? <laughs> I'm so tired. What a rough day. But you managed to get a phone. He's pretty forceful when it comes to getting things done. Anyway, this phone is already giving us valuable information today. It's August 2nd. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> It's pretty cool outside for August. Humans have been saying the weather's been abnormal over the past few years. I guess they were right. Your new cell phone has Shin's contact information. I guess it won't provide much of uh, more than that. Oh, but it seems like he's gonna come by tomorrow too, so maybe we can leave a lot of guesswork up to him. Oh, please don't come back. It's kind of bad that you can't move uh, much because of your injuries, but you're making good progress. You were able to talk to someone you could trust about your amnesia, and he promised he wouldn't take you back to the hospital. Yeah, the future is looking bright. At this rate, your memories will be back in no time. Let's just do our best tomorrow, too. Oh my god. Oriana, you're sweet, you're a sweet child, but Jesus. But he is blaming himself for all this. No wonder he has such a serious look on his face. That's fine, you blame himself. <laughs> He wouldn't understand if you explained the truth, but leaving him to think about it himself is kind of sad. I really don't care unless he proves himself right now. I actually lied to you yesterday. Oh shit, sorry. Oh my god, what is he gonna just tell me the fucking truth? Huh, so what does that mean? He just woke up you up too, right, Jessica? Your parents aren't overseas, they actually live in the next uh uh Prefecture over. They just couldn't come pick you up from the hospital because of work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, why didn't you just say that? Like. Shut up, oh my god. It's just like. I remember, Orion was like, remember, you have to decide if you want to trust these people on information and whatever. I can't trust this guy because he keeps lying to me. Oh my god. I just wanted to have you all to myself because you had amnesia. Here's their contact info. That's great. What? What's going on? That's a super huge mega lie. He just said like it was nothing. Hey, is this contact info for real? The info is real, but what I said was a lie. Huh? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking jump out a window. This guy's pissing me off. Holy shit. Oh my god, what? Well, what do you think, Jackass? You think I'm gonna trust you? Oh, Jesus. I didn't think you would actually have the ability to doubt people. I guess that means you don't trust me either. Oh my god, I'm a fucking- Oh, I figured you'd keep trying to hide the fact that you have amnesia and it looks like you still got it. <laughs> oh, god, I'm so fucking done with you. Oh my god, stop! Your parents really are working overseas. I lied about having lied yesterday. Oh my god, I'm so fucking done with you. I lied about having lied the kind of contact info is legit. I copied it from home. You can make an international call check. Oh, 
Uh, <laughs> why that little? If he keeps lying, one day nobody's gonna believe him anymore. Exactly. Yeah, you're a real dumbass. I guess I was too naive to think that it would fix itself after one day or two. What do you think amnesia is, bro? Oh my god. How are you feeling? If you're okay to walk, we could go check your uh, check your school. I don't want to walk anywhere with you right now, okay? I want you to get the hell out of my house. Oh my god. You don't seem too, uh, you don't too, uh, seem too bad, but personally, I'm kind of upset. I'm upset too, Orion. I don't blame you. What will you do? Do you want to go with him? I, usually when I do Otome games or like dating sims, I always try to do the good ending first and then I check out the bad ending last. Right now, I don't give a shit if I get the good ending for this guy because he's honestly pissing me off. I don't feel like walking. I don't want to go anywhere with you. I guess we could go in a taxi then. I don't think he'll be better if you stay just at home. Oh my god. Guess he really wants to go. Any opportunity to bring back your memories is more than welcome. Yeah, I guess so, but I don't want to go with him. Can I go with someone else? <laughs> oh, let's get going. Why, so you can call me an idiot for walking with you? Oh, and if you don't feel well, let me know right away. This is your university. You started attending right after you finished high school. Both schools share the same campus, but they have uniforms, so outsiders can't really enter. I'd rather, uh, I'd say the university is good enough, though, right? So this is your school? He said your high school is on campus, so you've been coming here for a few years already. Do you recognize anything? You think, uh, what, uh, I think what would stand out the most in your memory would be your after school club. You've been in a band since your second year of high school and vocal. Oh shit, we're a singer! <laughs> I started out a little bit you were really awful at it first, but you practiced a lot and then you were okay by your third- Oh, just okay? What kind of boyfriend is this? <laughs> I haven't heard you perform since you started uh, college, but you've been pretty enthusiastic about it. This was the club room. Do you recognize it? You came here all the time. They're on break because of your injury. At this rate, they'll be on hiatus for a while. I think you usually practice about twice a week after class or on days off. I dropped by kind of often too, after you, uh, you were done. We talked for a while in here. Really enjoy seeing you get nervous around me. Oh boy. That doesn't really happen to me. Oh good. Uh, by the time I convinced you, our first kiss, all of it happened in this room. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Once again, no consent. You're just fucking kissing her. It doesn't matter if they're dating, you fucking ask them. Even if you don't remember it happening, do you at least remember the feeling? Oh my god. Because so many times I can't even count you. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Oh my god. It, it, it'd be frustrating if you told me you couldn't feel anything from being here or now. Well, the girl has amnesia, okay? It's not just gonna come back to her right away, okay, dude? You need to fucking realize that. <sighs> Guess you don't. Well, 
Sorry, I won't do it again. Good. <laughs> I figured if I kissed you here, you might remember something, but that was stupid of me. I'm sure it's troubling for you too. Right now, I'm just a stranger to you. Why is I don't mind an option? Oh my god, yes, I'm sorry. Holy fuck. There's no use dwelling on it. I think it, uh, I should think of it as a long term battle. Or, you know, she's sick and help her. <laughs> I, I have taken you everywhere I, think I could think of. I guess the rest will just have to take care of itself. You might also start remembering things when people talk to you. Uh, when you talk to people you know. And if you go to a memorial play, a memorable place, you might start to remember what happened there. I could arrange for you to meet people we know in common, but... What's wrong? Why are you just standing there? I don't fucking know. What are you fucking doing? A live event? You want people to hear you sing? Have you ever recorded yourself singing and listened to it? It's seriously not something to write home about. You were just nervous? What a, what a good boyfriend and friend! That's an excuse. It's because you didn't practice enough. Did you practice enough to have absolute confidence in your singing no matter what? No, right? You slacked off. Oh my god! <laughs> Making up excuses doesn't mean people will give a shit. Clearly you don't, okay? Fucking That's enough. You don't have to kick her when she's already down. You can tell like if he wants to be honest, you can tell her but not be an asshole about it. Like that's a thing. People can be honest without being assholes. I don't know why this guy doesn't know how to fucking not do that. Shut up, who's gonna tell her if I don't? I'm sure everyone thought it was a terrible performance. You have to accept that first before you can fix it. If you're frustrated enough to cry, maybe you should practice more next year. Jessica, don't worry about it too much. Oh my god. And you're lying to me! I know you're trying to be nice, Toma, but you're lying to me! <laughs> He's exaggerating. It wasn't as bad as he says it was. Don't baby her, Toma. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, so dizzy! What is it? Don't tell me you weren't feeling well this whole time. Oh my god, I'm my mind, you guys. No, I don't think so. I think that was just an impact of remembering a powerful memory. <sighs> Seems like it passed. Are you alright? You made me cry after my performance, you- <laughs> <laughs> You should remember the worst moments. Well, I don't know. It seems like a lot of Shin's moments are the worst moments, am I right? It's because you weren't any good. You don't- Oh my god. She's putting this out there, but you were better the second time. I told you so then. Huh, I see. His, his, oh, <laughs> maybe Shinsaji was enough to motivate you. Motivate me to punch him in the face. Either way, you've been making good progress in remembering. It really must be because you're with someone you really know well, who can talk to you about a bunch of things. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Oh my god. By the way, you're supposed to go back to work starting the day after tomorrow. Work? 
By trying to work with zero memories, this is a disaster in the making. Maybe we should ask the manager to reconsider. Yeah, or just say, I don't know, I'm... I have no memories or I have like a concussion, so... Hmm, if possible, you want to keep the word about your amnesia from spreading. Marianne, I get, I get what you're saying though, I understand. Some terrible people might try to uh, tell you things that didn't really happen in order to take advantage of you. Uh, I don't know who- who the hell is the manager though? Like, do we know this guy? Is it Toma? I swear to god. Trust the other people, let's be real here. Huh? You're always so trusting of other people. Why are you sounding like me all of a sudden? Get where you're coming from. So you want to go to work and hide your amnesia? In real life, please don't do this. Uh, at least your injuries will keep people from expecting too much from you for a while. Uh, if you do want to go, I'll teach you how to do your job. I'll still. I still remember it from uh, when I used to work there. Wow, that sounds helpful. Yeah, if that sounds good, we'll do some training here tomorrow. It'll be tough, so you better rest today while you still can. We're thankful for the help, but just how tough his training is going to be. I get the feeling you take a lot less mental damage if you just go to work and mess everything up. Well, no choice now. Do your best. August 4th. I just thought you, uh, I just thought you about a minute ago. You. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, use the douchebag voice for shit. I should. Actually, I should do that. The Greg voice that I did for um, uh, Simulacra. <laughs> like, I don't want to do it for him. You, you should learn to use your brain more. <laughs> you won't go very far in life without being able to do a little math in your head, idiot. <laughs> he sure does love to say idiot a lot, doesn't he? Uh, this is exactly how I imagined things would go from the very beginning. Me too! Oh my god! <laughs> I think that's about everything. Do you remember it all? I think so. Are you okay? Oh my god. Alright then, put it to practice. I'll pretend to be a customer and you serve me. Do your best so he doesn't make fun of you anymore. <laughs> you guys like my voice acting? <laughs> oh, the place we went to the other day, where you work, it was a maid in a butler cafe. Oh, it's a maid cafe. Okay, that's very common in Japan. I know like in North America or like in, in the, the West, it's very odd to people. But like, maid cafes are really common. I've been to a maid cafe, I like a Japanese maid cafe before, so... People were weirded out by it. <laughs> you know what a maid cafe is? Just try to play the part. Welcome back, master! <laughs> oh my god, alright. Oh my god. Let's see, next you have to show them their seat and give them the menu. After you bring them some water, say, please call for me when you're ready to order. Then you watch how they're doing from a distance until, you, uh, until they call you. It shouldn't take too long. I'd like to order. <laughs> Uh, then you ask them what their order is? Do you remember how? Have you decided, Master? What would you like? You have to say Master and Madam. That is the thing in uh, maid cafes, which is a little bit weird. I know it's a little bit weird, but yeah, it's totally normal. Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> what kind of torture is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, my order. <laughs> I'll have a made coffee set in a banana tart. When you receive the order, repeat it back to them before going back to the kitchen. Yes, master. Okay. Hey, can I just have my Wii with you or something? What the heck are you saying? Oh, sweet Jesus. This isn't good. Ugh, this is torture. Show up already, Toma. Huh? Was that the doorbell? Do you have a guest? He's finally here. Come on in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. What? Do you, uh, what? Do you own this place now? You're still in Jessica's house. Oh, this is the guy that you saw at the cafe. <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait to get the Thomas room because I want to know why everyone's so mad at him. <laughs> Jessica, are you okay? Your memories are still a bit mis mixed up, right? Just come in. This is Toma. You saw him at the cafe the other day. Uh, why are these people in my house? Can everyone just get out? <laughs> I thought it'd be a problem if you didn't have uh, if you didn't have anyone to rely on at work, so I explained to him what was going on. Explain uh, sorry, wrong voice. Explain, I wish you were <laughs> I wish more like you just told me. So how much have you forgotten? Have you completely forgotten me? She doesn't remember either of us. In fact, I don't think she even knows what this place is. Huh? What do you mean? You you don't think she knows? Then just tell her. She can figure out. Uh, she can figure that out much out for herself. I'm just helping her with things she can't. Here we go again, Jessica. Sometimes I wish I could forget that this guy has such a terrible attitude. Yummy yeah, too. <laughs> I'm sure he's put. Uh, I'm sure he's put you through a lot. It must be so frustrating. I'm sorry about that. Stop cuddling her. No, you, tr you need to. Tr I, uh, from my knowledge of not knowing him so far, at least he's saying that. So can you please stop being a dick to me, Shin? Thank you. No, you need to treat her better. Uh, why do they sound so serious? Aren't they friends? What's going on here, Jessica? Can you remember anything? Whatever, whatever, just handle any work problems she has, Toba. That goes without saying, I'd help you if you didn't ask me to. Anyway, Jessica, it kind of feels weird saying this to you, but let me introduce myself. Are we just childhood friends with everybody around here? I'm Toma. We've known each other ever since we were kids. I'm kind of like your older brother. I thought I was an older brother to Shin too, but... Excuse me? I'm not a kid. I don't need some sweet older brother. As, as you can see, he doesn't prefer it. Yeah, clearly. Oh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> an, an older brother figure, huh? Maybe that's why Shin decided to have you see Toma the other day? 
Feel free to ask me anything if you're not, uh, if it's not about work. You're not alone in this, so don't overspend your energy. Sure, he sounds annoying. He sounds kind of annoying now, but oh no, he sounds kind of kind now, but he'll make ridiculous demands of you later, like it was nothing. I wouldn't do that to you, Jessica. I trust you on that, at least. Anyway, you can trust him. I think he's the type who would keep his mouth shut if he told the two. Don't worry. There's one more person, a girl named, uh, Swa? At work. I guess she could... Saw. What? How do you say this? <laughs> I guess I guess you could say she's your best friend. You can trust her. She'll go babbling uh but she'll go babbling about everything to everyone. Don't tell her anything you don't want kept secret, okay. That's about all the people I can think of that you can count on. You know, she's gonna spill all my damn secrets, okay. Yeah, I said everyone else is just an ordinary friend. If anything happens, come to me or so or shit, okay. Although this guy's studying for exams, so you might not want to call him on so, uh, call on him much. He's he got prep school uh, on the days you work anyway. Wait a second, did you have school today? How the hell would you of all people know that? Is he stalking us? Is he a stalker? What's happening? <laughs> Wait a second, he had school today? He took a day off to come see you the other day too? I heard from Jessica that you have classes on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's why she works those days. Are you seriously in a position to ditch prep school? I'm not saying you're stupid, but I kinda am. But you can't afford college unless you're selected for an academic scholarship, right? Jessica, you talk too much. There's no, there's not much point in telling her that her current, in, in her current state, she doesn't even remember. But I didn't know he needed to be chosen for a scholarship. I guess Shin's family doesn't have much money to spare. He's in such a precarious situation, but he's talk, his uh, lab, but he's taking the time to visit you. <laughs> Sorry, I had more important things to do. Honestly, thanks. It's not kind of a big deal. Uh, it's kind of weird to hear you thank me so directly. Wow, he's actually being nice for once, but you're welcome. Yeah, he's studying on an issue. I'll be in class for the next few days so I can make it all up in no time. Uh, more importantly, I'm coming on, uh, uh Sa? Swa? I don't know how to, I, I don't fucking know. And, <laughs> and Toma to fill in during the times, I can't see you. Thanks in advance. I don't mind at all. Um, oh right, she's got a new cell phone, so make sure you get her new numbers. Uh, Swa too. Oh, that's right. The old one broke during the accident. Just a sec. Green leaf. That should do it. Yeah, it's fine By the way, it's fine that you're keeping her amnesia a secret and all, but you've taken her to see a doctor about this, right? Of course. Huh. Wow, he just outright lied and with such a straight face, too. He's so good at lying, Shin. <laughs> Alright, fine then. Just be sure you'll take responsibility for this no matter what happens. He's just like an older brother, not trusting at all. Of course, I'm prepared to take full responsibility. Yeah, and also being a full, full grown man. 
who is a complete jackass to us. Oh, really? Don't you think it would be better if she took a break from work? Oh my god, taking a break wouldn't guarantee her recovery. If it was just a matter of taking some medicine and sleeping, I'd have her do that, but it is an issue here. Oh my god. <laughs> In fact, I think some physical and mental stimula stimulation would be more helpful. Yeah, but don't be a jackass about it. That's right. Yeah, this is a, this is one area where Shin's tough lot really does help help us out. Well, I guess if all three of us look after her, there shouldn't be any issue. Right. Anyway, Toma, why don't you go help us out with some roleplay for work? So to lose it, being alone with her. Why? Because you like being called master, huh, Shin? Okay. What's <laughs> that? Roleplay? Why role play? Are you having her practice serving customers? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Oh, right then, have a seat there, Jessica. Start from the beginning. Let's see. By the beginning, I guess he means start with a customer coming into the cafe. Here we go again! See, does it make you feel strange? Today's your first day of work. I know Shin and Toma told you about it yesterday, but it's way different actually doing it. Toma said he would help you out if you're not sure of anything in particular, but still, do your best, Jessica. Oh, you still got bandages all over the place, even your neck. I wonder if that's okay this kind of job? Well, whatever. Just blind them with a smile. Good morning! Whoa, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> oh, hello. Jessica, good morning. It's nice to see you. Huh? Are you, are you feeling okay? That accident really was unfortunate, but those bandages are really, uh, actually pretty cute. Oh, you, you know, just... Um, <laughs> Your official first day back won't be until next week, but working half days today and the day after tomorrow will be good rehab. Push yourself too hard, just think of this as training to get your body used to working again, little by little. See, why can't fucking Shin say that to me, instead of being an idiot? <laughs> hmm, seeing a maid in bandage is quite attractive and it's- <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Does manager senpai have a mummy kink or something? What's going on? Oh my god. Seeing a maid in bandages is quite attractive on its own. I almost want to keep wearing them. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> oh god, help me. <laughs> Good morning. Oh dear. Oh sorry, I said I'd help you out today, but you ended up getting here first. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with all the men in this game? What the hell? Did, you, did the manager say anything unusual to it? Yeah, he did. Don't worry about it too much. He doesn't bite or anything. What's that, Toma? That sounded a little bit rude. Oh my, oh my god, I'm dead. Sorry. Not at all. I just hadn't seen you put on that kind of um, pressure in a while, so I figured she might have been taken aback a bit. No, of course not. I was only encouraging. You didn't have to be like weird about it, dude. You could have just said, you don't look, you look good, even if with the bandages. Don't be like, I have to admit, it's kind of cute that you were in bandages in a maid. I was like, fucking God. Seems like this person is the manager. He seems pretty intense. 
Who's this? Oh my god, she's fucking cute. Good morning, sorry. <laughs> my mind, you look cute. You're looking cute as always. Oh, stop that. You too, manager. Oh my god. Oh my god, help me, she's so cute. Oh, hi, that's right. Today's your first day back. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. I was really shocked when that accident happened. Uh, I even thought you were dead when I saw you. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> that was just like... You didn't have to add that part. You could have just said, I was shocked when you had the accident. Don't add, I thought you were dead. <laughs> Oh. It seems this girl is your junior. Uh, wait a second. She thought you were dead? Hold on. Does that mean this girl was at the scene of the accident? Oh, okay, that's that's enough. You can call the child after work. Everyone get dressed. Oh, Alright, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, it's, uh, it's already time. I guess it can't be helped. You need to wait until after work to ask her. You still haven't been... You still even haven't been able to gather more deals from Shin about the accident. This might trigger an important memory. Uh, I can't wait for the work to be over. Me too. Please get out of here. If you run into trouble, I'm sure others will help you out, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, keep it up, Jessica. Mm, your body is starting to hurt a little. Are you okay? Need some rest? Oh, manager senpai. Uh, good work, Jessica. You can take a break now. It's already lunchtime. You seem very focused in your work. You should go home for today and try to get some rest until the day uh, after tomorrow. You work very hard through your injuries. Thank you so much. I see, so you're done now. Huh, the moment he said you were done, all the tiredness came crashing over us. I was hoping we could ask about the accident, but I don't think we can just wait here until mine and Toma get off work. You'll be you'll be back here the day after tomorrow, so you can just ask them. Let's go home for now. Hey. Wait, Shin? Why is he here? Didn't he have class today? Uh. 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 What happened with school? I'm just on lunch. I'll head back after saying hi to Waka. Wait, who is Waka again? Uh, since he's looking for him here, maybe he's referring to the manager? How was his work? Did you do okay? Uh... Uh, sure. Idiot, you've always been a klutz and now you've lost your memories. There's no way it went well. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Meiwakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Hello, hello, Waga. I've been fine. Also, I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she caused you today. I'm sorry for any trouble she